lighting the lamp within. You may have seen my earlier video in which I introduced the book Lighting the Lamp Within. You would recall how the inspirations that I received made me aware of what it takes for a very ordinary person living an ordinary life to establish a divine connection, to establish an individual spiritual journey without withdrawing completely from daily tasks and responsibilities. The message in the book is essentially secular in nature and would appeal to people of all faiths. In this video, I will take you to the next stage to explain very briefly the structure of the book. I have to admit that the inspirations that form a part of the book did not come in any particular order. But I have arranged them in a sequence and grouped them to give coherence and structure for an easy read. I have arranged these into a few sections which I see as building blocks of a spiritual journey. I start with a discussion on some aspects of human nature that sometimes stand in the way of a spiritual connection. You might recognize many of them. I call them our unconscious hurdles to conscious living. I have suggested ways for us to see them in a different light to clear our spiritual paths of these potential hurdles. I have chosen ego as a theme of another section. This too is inherent in our nature. But I felt that it exercises enormous power over our spiritual lives and therefore a more detailed discussion of this would be appropriate. I have also suggested ways to neutralize the power of this strong energy. It has been said that human emotions are more powerful than the written or spoken word. They contain the ingredients of our entire spectrum of our living experience. What we do not realize is that they also contain the ingredients of our spiritual experience. What are these ingredients and how can we use them in our spiritual growth? This is what I have discussed as my third building block. I have observed and felt that our thoughts and actions are often driven by our beliefs. Sometimes we allow this consciously and sometimes unconsciously. From the spiritual perspective, I have felt that our beliefs actually bind us in a way that they take us away from spiritual awareness. How do we challenge and overcome these beliefs? This is what I have discussed as my fourth building block. What does it take? To start the process of opening ourselves to receiving divine guidance in running our lives. Clearly, mending ourselves to overcome hurdles that I have mentioned above prepares us for more subtle ways of opening our doors. These are doors for which each person holds an individual and a different key. We are the ones who make conscious choices. I have discussed some of these techniques and ideas to help light the spiritual lamp. You may have heard or read of some of these such as faith, gratitude and prayer. But you know what? I have found these to be immensely important and my sixth and seventh sections explain why. Having come this far, you are likely well on the way to your spiritual journey well on the way to experiencing your aha moment. It has been said that we are spiritual beings in an occasional human experience and not human beings with an occasional spiritual experience. The last two sections discuss some techniques that could be applied on a daily basis to receive this divine blessings. I have summarized here for you some simple but deep spiritual insights that form a part of my life today. I have suggested ways to reconnect with our inner being and light our spiritual lamp within to help transform our life inside out. I hope you will find these inspiring and beneficial. This is from my soul to yours.